Hi guys, Jovan here again, and this will be our final video tutorial for a while. This is me showing you how to use multi-sim to deal with inverting a PAM configuration. In our previous video, I actually showed you how to solve a sequential solve a circuit using an up amp while it was in its non inverting configuration and we saw the output waveform was amplified and also clipping had occurred because the source driving the up amp was lower than the amplified the expected amplified output. So today I'm just going to show you I'm just going to show you the inverting type. And what's different about today is that instead of using a sinusoidally varying voltage, I'll be using a DC supply. So as you can see here, there is a one volt DC connected. And another change to the diagram is that I added a probe at the output, a voltmeter probe, to measure the voltage. This is because we're using a DC input, so the amplified waveform should also be DC. Or direct component which should always also be DC sorry about that the oscilloscope is just to verify that the output waveform is in fact a DC waveform so let's go ahead and just run the simulation I'll be expecting you by now to understand how to really construct the circuit if you forgot about the probe just remember it's indicator and this one is voltmeter horizontal because the pins are horizontal across the screen reading so also remember that the internal the negative probes of the oscilloscope are internally connected so grounding one grounds both just remember the voltage polarities driving the up amp and one thing you should realize about this configuration that differs from the non inverting configuration is that in this one the in the non inverting terminal is grounded and the feedback the feedback loop which represents the R2 and R1 runs from the output back to the inverting terminal. So when dealing with an inverting up amp configuration the expected output is amplified by the equation um, the amplified voltage is actually the original input voltage multiplied by the negative of R2 divided by R1. So what we'll get is the amplified voltage at the output here is actually minus by 6 on 1. So it's minus 6. So therefore if the input voltage was 1 volt, we expect the output voltage to be minus 6 volts as you can see on this proof. So now what we want to do is demonstrate this graphically. So I'll just double click on the oscilloscope. And there you should have it. So what you're looking at at the top here is actually the input wave, which is a DC wave. That's why it has a constant value of one volt as seen here because channel E is reading the volts from the power supply. And if you look again, you'll see channel B is reading the output. As you can see, the positive probe is connected at the output. And the value of channel B is, read, is reading minus 6.006 volts. So there we have the waveform has in fact been produced. Well, this time a straight line, not really a waveform. And no clipping can occur because obviously it's not a wave one and that the voltage that's driving the up amp is much greater than 6 volts so it can be amplified within that range so overall we've covered a lot of topics I demonstrated KCL, KVL I showed you how half wave rectification operates I also touched on up amp circuitry so right now what you should have is just a very basic understanding of multisim but as you can see, it has its practical uses and you can, you should use it to verify your passive questions. Like if you're having trouble, you can really use multisim to just discover where exactly you went wrong and probably tweak your working just to, to see how to really get the correct answer, right? Just be careful. Multisim does not really show you the methodology associated with the question, but just, it just gives you a final answer. So don't become dependent on it to do your work, but actually just use it 
for verification. And if you're having trouble grasping physics concepts, you can always come and build the circuits that you see in your textbooks here, and you should be able to grasp it from there. So thanks guys for listening. This is our final multisim video. Um, I'm hoping to continue posting videos to the site, so look out for more of those. And we should be trying to procure past paper physics papers for both Unit 2 and Unit 1. So look forward to that. If anything arises, I'll post a video with links in the description leading you to the past paper downloads. Thanks for listening, guys. Jovan out.